Hey, this is Destiny from Fate of Destiny. Here I have Ballastol Break Free CLP. This is from Pete from the Army Channel. Thank you, Pete. This I just picked up at Walmart. I love Walmart. My ultimate question for this video is, which is better? Ballastol or the Break Free CLP? Now to the specifics. Here I have hinges. They were zinc coated and I just sanded them off. I don't want to subject my guns to some of the things I'm going to do here. For example, the very first test I'm going to put this under is I'm going to corrode these hinges here. I found this solution for corroding metal really fast on the internet. I think it's actually pretty cool. It will, it will rust these things like right now. Same hinges. 60 seconds in this solution and that's the rust I got. I'm gonna start off with filling this little pan here, or this little tin. Next I'm gonna add vinegar, sea salt. Alright, while that is sitting, I'm going to apply the ballast all. Now I'm gonna do the same for that, the break free CLP. Woohoo! Here's the ballast doll. Here's the break free CLP. progress of anything in the ballast stall. Okay, Let's see I'll see one here. And I have a third in my control. Wow, I just took this out a little bit and to expose it to the oxygen. These are the three of them. Here's my control. Here's the break free CLP. Sorry about that, guys. And here's the ballast doll. So you can see some rust right away on these three. That's some interesting results. So let's see what we got here on the ballast doll. You can definitely see some rust around this second, the middle part of the hinge. Doesn't seem like I got a lot of rust on the back, on the back side. That might be just due to how it sat in the solution. So this is a CLP one here. We definitely have some rust. It seems to be a little more widely dispersed, but maybe a little less. I don't know. I'll have to look. Let's look at these two right together. What do you guys think? There's the back. Not a lot to say there. And then just take a look at these side by side. That's how much rust we got without either of the solutions, either of the products. And it looks like even the backside got a little bit of rust started up. I'm getting it on my fingers now. I think that's pretty noticeable to me that I we have more rust on the hinge without any protectant. <laughs> What I have here is gunpowder on top of one of my hinges. I'm gonna burn it to simulate that carbon residue that you get when a round fires through a firearm. Please, please, please don't do this at home. I'm not recommending it. This is just for the sake of my own comparison. So with that, I am going to stand back and light this sucker. <laughs> wow, that went quick. Now that everything's all burnt off, you can definitely see I've got some torching, some gunpowder residue on here. So I think that test turned out pretty well. And that was definitely fun. So I'm gonna do the next one. All right, let me get 
the other side. I love how bright that flash is like. That one may have even turned out nicer. You guys can see I've got some nice residue here. That's going to work out great for the cleaning tests, I think. I had more gunpowder, so I couldn't resist. I'm going to light some more. Oh, that's so much fun. Okay, I'm going to start with the Ballastol to see which product gets rid of this gunpowder residue and torching. Now I've let it sit for a little bit. And I'm going to put the Bright Free CLP on the other one. See if it gets rid of this torching and gunpowder residue. Okay, now we're going to come back to the other one of the uh, the one that I sprayed the ballastol on. Now that it's had a chance to kind of sit for a minute, see how it how it cleans this up, if at all. I'm definitely getting some gunpowder residue off, but man, there's a good deal of that left on there. I burned it on real good. Let's see if I can get anything up here. Get rid of any of that. I'm getting a lot of that residue off. Okay, I think we're just about ready. I don't know that we're going to get much more off of there. That's what we have left. First go with the ballastol. Let's check out how the CLP is doing. Spray some more ballastol on here. And I'll let that sit. We'll give a first round to the Break Free CLP. Okay, we're getting some nice uh, residue off here. It's coming up fairly well. So this is the side that's more torched than the other side though, so this is kind of be a little more of a testament. We're getting some up, but you can definitely see there's a good deal left over. So I'm just going to give it a little bit more scrubbing. That seems to be about as good as we're going to get with this first pass. So I'm going to douse it one more time and we'll go back to the ballast doll, see how it's doing. Back to the ballastol, it's been sitting for just a bit. You see, with one additional pass, how much residue we can remove from our hinge. So I've, uh, I've cleared it up some. I'm getting more residue off, but it looks like that's about as good as it's going to get with this second pass here. We'll compare that now to the Break Free CLP. Now the Break Free CLP has had a second pass. See what we get up from it. Less residue seems to be coming up that second that second pass. See if I can't get any more residue up. Looks like we're just about dried up here. Not getting much more up. 
Let's compare, shall we? I still have cleaner all over me. This is the Break Free CLP as compared to the Ballastol. They both did a pretty, pretty good job of getting some up. I see some staining in here that I do not see with the Ballastol. But as far as gunpowder, the residue of the, the grains, it looks like I have more with the Ballastol. This one, although, you know, I think I, I'd say this one did a little bit better of a job. It seems to be more clean all around than the Ballastol. What do you guys think?